Just very briefly, when and how were the Dead Sea Scrolls discovered? Well, there is the very famous story about the Bedouin boy in 1947, actually two Bedouin boys who were uh, following a goat and uh, trying to find this goat that went into a cave. This story is a little bit, uh, let's put it this way, not the whole story for several reasons. The first reason is that already in 1907, Solomon Schechter published a document from the Cairo Geniza, which he called the fragments of a Tzadokite work, which turned out to be in 10 copies in Quran. And in a certain sense, that was the beginning of the discussion of this sectarian group that uh, eventually turned out to have left all these texts at Qumran. How the text got there in the Middle Ages in the Cairo Geniza, I'm not sure, but that was really the beginning of the story. And then the famous Bedouin boy, well, one has to understand that the Tamira Bedouin, the family from which this boy came, were constantly involved in hunting for antiquities. It's much more likely that the two Bedouin boys were hunting for antiquities and came upon some absolutely phenomenal antiquities, which uh, ended up being sold for too little money through an intermediary to what was then called the Palestine Archaeological Museum, or even earlier those that were sold to Israel uh, directly and indirectly before the 1948 war. So in, in essence, the, the origins of it go back already to the Cairo Geniza, and then the Bedouin boys who probably were really hunting for antiquities.